Hello everyone. If somebody is interested to go to Cyprus for uh, education purpose or somebody from Africa or Asia especially to make some money or move out to other country, then this video is for you. I myself went to Cyprus. I was there about two and a half years and I'm gonna share with you my experience what happened to me it's probably gonna happen to you I was in Cyprus for two and a half year my main ambition was to go to Cyprus and then move out to other country especially to Canada or USA or England or Australia because my second language is English so I prefer to go to an English country that will help me to find a better life to be honest I left my country for a better life so I went to Cyprus because that was the opportunity I got at first so I just took it because Cyprus is known to be in Europe and I went to Cyprus but soon I arrived in Cyprus things were different than I thought or the agency who helped me to get to Cyprus everything were different or anything the agent said to me was totally the opposite the agent said I could go there or part-time plus the college will actually compromise with the work permit to help me to work plus do the education but when I went there everything was changed the agent said I can actually after first or second semester I can move out to other country and there is so many opportunities from Europe to America or Canada or Australia it would be much easier to move than my own country as I'm from Bangladesh it's a bit difficult to move to Australia or Canada USA or England so I choose Cyprus as first step and then I would go to other country in the future but when I came into Cyprus things were different I didn't speak the language so first one year I had to spend only to know about the country and the system and after one year I start to dig more to get out because the education I was trying to have it wasn't my main ambition my main ambition to stay there and work so I can pay my own bills and then move out to other country but things didn't happen this way I had to bring money from home plus the education was so hard that there is no chance of you to go to work or to find some other uh, source of income and in summer when you receive your work permit it's already gone it's already past month or 15 days or three weeks so from three months of work permit you get only two months and then look for a job by the time you get the job it's already two months or one and a half month gone and then you work as a student you get less paid so end of the summer you probably make 800 or 1000 euros but every month you have every semester you have expenses about 3500 to 4000 euros including college fees and then things start to get more hard because my plan was to move out not to stay in cyprus so I start to look for an opportunity to get out but then I see that was not the way as I knew or my agent told me from Cyprus you're not allowed to go to a good country but you can travel any third world country or the countries which economy is lower than Cyprus at, the, at that time Cyprus economy were in good position so I had only choice to travel some of the Arabian country, all the African country and Russian Federation or Asia or South America.
So those country I was able to or I was permitted to travel which I do not want to go. And then when I tried to travel or to get a tourism visa to European Union, they start to refuse. And then I had to fulfill the requirement with huge amount of money in the bank. If you apply for a normal Hungary or Romanian visa, they would ask you to deposit 25 to 30,000 euros in your bank account, which is nobody's going to do that. If you have to deposit 30,000 euros for a Hungarian visa, that means if you ask for a Canadian visa, they will ask you to show at least 100,000 euros, and they did so. So many of my friends who traveled to Canada, not through Cyprus, they had to process their paper from Cyprus, but they had to apply to the Canadian Embassy in Bangladesh. So for us, it was more easy if we applied from Bangladesh. Anyway, if you come to Cyprus to make money, then it's a bad choice, because in Cyprus, you wouldn't get job as you prefer. Probably you will get an illegal job if a Cyprus person, Cypriot person takes 100 euros per day, you will probably get 30 euros or maximum 40 euros without any benefit or health insurance or job insurance. And then they will treat you bad. I mean really bad. If you have no idea, go to the internet, search about Cyprus. Cyprus immigration problems, if you just write like that, I think you will find so many of videos and pictures. You don't have to ask anybody, just go to the internet and search. You will find your answer. And if somebody is looking for a life in Cyprus, then it's a big mistake. Because you can come to Cyprus, you can get out. You can stay only temporarily. If you apply for asylum, they would probably give you asylum, but it's just for short term. They will process your file within few months without any benefit. They will put you in jail if you do not show your passport or if you do not wish to go back. And when you stay in jail, locked up in a small room, one, one and a half by two meter, then after a month you will say I want to go back to home. So what happened to me afterward? Then I had to struggle to get a visa, but I couldn't find a way to get out. I found visa to travel few Arabian countries or even Russian country but I did not took those choices. I went back to my country and then applied for a visa to Europe as a student and I got chance from Bangladesh which I did not get from Cyprus. So if you're lucky you'd get the chance because in 1000 maybe few people will get chance. So if you, if you want to be among the 1000 it's really hard. If you say in 10, one person get visa or in 110 people, then okay, you can say, yeah, still I have hope. But if you want to be one in 10, one in 1000, then it's hard. So if you want to go to Cyprus, think before you go. And there is no life for a person if you're looking for an opportunity to make money. Okay, if you like to go to study, okay, education purpose, you are most welcome. Because Cyprus, a country that likes, they like people who comes with money for a short time. You just go there, spend your money and go back. It does not matter if you are from Europe or America or uh, Asia or Africa. They do not like foreigners, to be honest. If you are a foreigner especially African or Asian or Arabian, then you have no chance. 
and if you're from other countries probably you will get mixed up because they wouldn't understand when they see you because they they look white and if you're white until somebody talk to you they wouldn't recognize and the police will not bother you till they find out you're a foreigner otherwise if you're African or Asian or Arabian the police will recognize you soon and they will stop you every moment they get chance they will stop you they will come to your home whenever they just cross by I have seen some police raid the police came with their families they were just passing by so a few friends they leave their car downstairs with their family into the car and they came to check out visas which they were not on duty just for fun so if you understood the language you could feel as I felt they were laughing at us they came just to make us shit our friend because after a Saturday night staying or uh, having family dinner after 12 or 1 o'clock they were just passing by they were drunk and they came just for fun and we had nobody to complain in fact when I came to Belgium I went to the WTC in European Asylum Department but they just respond to me I have to show them proof and to fight my case I have to go back and apply from Cyprus which is never gonna happen because if you ask a thief to bring into justice another thief it's not gonna happen if I went to Cyprus back and fight from there who would fight my case the European Parliament or Asylum Department they would send a lawyer but the authority will provide them proof and I have to fight against the authority not some individual so there was no chance it means you cannot do anything if somebody does bad thing to you if you go to the internet and search you will find so many proof I have seen people on the street living from 10 15 25 years and they have no valid paper they do not have work permit they just live like a junkie like a gypsy some African men were protesting and the police break his leg they did not even bother to take him to the hospital so if you go to the internet you will find so many proof so before you move to a country think before you pay anywhere anything so you can still think or decide whether you want to go or not so good luck